Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be The Lone Ranger. Original air date is February 23rd, 1945, and the title is Crestwood Gang. Let's get into it, and I hope you enjoy. with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Toto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Hurry, big fellow! I'll soon there! Jack Carter rode over a familiar trail for the first time in years. The war was over, and Jack's hitch in the army was finished. It was good to be out of uniform and riding through the valley near home. But Jack's happiness was dim by worry. He had received word at the last stage station that the United States Marshal wanted to meet him. In accordance with instructions, Jack turned off the trail and reined up near a peculiar rock formation that had always been a landmark. Oh, oh boy. Well, Jack, it's good to see you again. Get off that horse. Let me shake your hand. Hello, Marshal Davis. Hope I didn't keep you waiting too long. Oh, not a bit, not a bit. I wasn't sure you'd get my message. Well, lad, you look fine, fit and fine. You went away a boy and come back a man. Yes, sir. Thanks, Marshal. You've grown, too. Why, you're as heavy as your father. How is my father? Well, yes and no. What do you mean? Has something happened to him? His health is all right. Then, Jack, what? I, uh, I suppose you thought it curious that I wanted to meet you here before you went home. Yes, I did, There's but... There's a good reason for it, Jack. That deals with your father. Is he still the sheriff? Yeah, he's still sheriff. But there's a lot of talk rising against him. What do you mean? I'll get this straight, Jack. I think your father is just as good a lawman as he ever was. But other people don't think so? Why not? Because he hasn't broken up the Crestwood gang. The Crestwood gang? Who are they? Stage robbers, cattle thieves, murderers. Dad's broken up a lot of gangs. Look what he did to Snake Arnold's outfit and Lawson Larrabee well, I and... I know, Jack. I know your father's record. So does everyone in the county. The trouble is, his record is too good. Too good? If he hadn't smashed those outfits you mentioned, and a dozen others, too, 
People wouldn't expect him to put the Crestwood gang out of business. As it is, no one can savvy why Jake Crestwood and his cutthroats ain't jailed. Well, why aren't they? It's a matter of evidence. Everyone knows the crooks. Your pa knows them. But he can't get evidence against them. They don't leave none. I never heard of the Crestwood outfit. No, they sprung up after you left here to go to the war. Oh. You don't know these crooks. They don't know you. That's the important point. What do you mean? I've thought of a way to bring the Crestwood gang to justice. But you will have to help. You know where I stand. I thought I did. There might be a lot of risk. Risk? (laughs) Are you willing to take that risk to help your dad? Marshal Davis, I've just come from fighting a war. I'm used to risking my neck. You may have to risk more than your neck. More than... What do you mean? You may have to risk your freedom, your reputation. Maybe I'm asking too much. Tell me some more. Well, if my plan works, your father will be able to jail the Crestwood gang. If it fails, well, I don't know what'll happen. I'll do anything to help, Dad. Would you turn outlaw? Well, I don't understand. Here's the point. Two of the Crestwood gang are in jail at Dawson City. Jail? Well, they won't be there long. They're just in a few days for disturbing the peace. They pleaded guilty to that. They made it a joke. Oh. I want you to go to Dawson City. Get caught committing a crime and go to jail. That'll give you a chance to get acquainted with those two members of the gang. Get in solid with them. I see. Do you want me to become a member of the gang? Is that it? Yes. Get in the gang and find out what the next affair is to be. If you can get word of it to your father or me, we can catch the crooks in the act. And catch me with the crooks. Oh, I'll see that you're in the clear. Does anyone else know about this plan? No. Then you're the only one who knows I'm joining the gang to help the law. You can back out if you want to. I'll go through with it. But I sure hope nothing happens to you. I knew I could count on you. Will I have time to see Dad before I go to Dawson City? Oh, no, that wouldn't do. Some of the gang might see you talking to the sheriff. They'd get suspicious. Yeah, I... I guess you're right. Now, here's what you'll do in Dawson City. Marshal Davis wasn't the only one who decided to use heroic measures to smash the Crestwood gang. The Lone Ranger and Tonto camped in the woods discussed the outlaws by the light of the campfire. Crestwood gang is getting stronger all the time, Tonto. It's got to be a showdown before it gets any bigger. Ah, you've got plan, huh? Yes, Kimosabe. Plan dangerous? Well, there's always danger when killers like the Crestwood gang are involved. That's why I left Dan with our friends at the B-Bar A. And how we get gang? Sheriff Carter hasn't been able to get evidence. Him plenty good sheriff. Oh, yes, he's one of the best. That's why we're going to help him. And what we do? Tato, two members of the gang were jailed for disturbing the peace. Hmm, them not stay in jail long. No. While they are in jail, we've got to act. And um, what we do? Well, I happen to know that the gang is recruiting new members. You're going to become a member. Oh? You'll meet a couple of the members of the gang in jail. Me go to jail? Yes, Kimosabe. While you're there, you'll tell a story that will make those crooks glad to have you join them. Now, uh, here's the plan. The Lone Ranger and Tonto went ahead with their plans, unaware that the marshal was also setting a trap for the Crestwood gang. The following evening, when Jack Carter rode into Dawson City and reined up at a hitch rail near the express office. Dismounting, he drew a gun and moved silently to the door of the small building. He saw that the agent was alone, then opened the door, stepped inside. Get him up. Hey, what's this? A stick up. Yell, and I'll top your voice with gunfire. Uh, Now, see here. Save it. I'm here for cash, and I'm short of time. There there ain't cash enough to make Don't stall. I heard that the marshal's in town. I figure to get away before he shows up. Lay out the cash or I'll slug you and help myself. Oh, you don't. What? Marshal. I'll show you. Miss me. Get him. Get him. You crook. You... Hang on to him, Marshal. Hang on to the crook. That's it. Uh, you got him down. Stop fighting or I'll throttle you. I, I, I give up. Good for you, Marshal Davis. He was robbing the express office. Save the talk. I'll hold him till you get some deputies here to take charge of him. Hurry it up. Are you sure you can hold him, Marshal? I'm doing it, ain't I? Get the deputies here. I'm on my way. 
All right, Jack, you can get to your feet. I'll hold a gun on you till Summers gets back with Lawman. Did I do all right? Yeah, first rate. I'm surprised that the gunshot didn't bring someone. Everyone's in the cafe. No one was near. Well, I, I guess my next move is to the jail. Yeah. And I'll spread some stories about you so your jailmates will think you're plenty dangerous. All right. From then on, it's up to you. You'll find two of Crestwood's men in jail. There's an Indian there, too. An Indian? Yeah, he was trying to sell a fine fur. He didn't answer questions right, so he was jailed. Oh. Now, you know how you're to treat the crooks, don't you? I know. Don't forget your part. You better act sore. The deputies are coming. You won't hold me long. Come on, put me in jail. I won't be there long. No jail's strong enough to hold me. No jail strong enough to hold me. The three who shared the jail with Jack heard his boast. I won't be here long. Tonto was silent. The butch and Smokey laughed. <laughs> so there ain't a jail little hole, Jack. Huh? Well, you must be downright tough. How about it, Butch? Smokey? We ought to feel proud to share this room with such a jet. That'll do. Oh, so that'll do, huh? <laughs> well, Stop now. laughing. Eh, take it easy, partner. Ain't no need to rile up. I'll prove what I said, you penny ante tin horns. Tin horns? Hey, Shut wait. up, Smokey. What's your name? Call me Jack. That's name enough for men I don't care about knowing. I'm Butch I know. Lawson. You're Butch Lawson, and that ugly-faced buffalo is Smokey Hilliard. You, you know us? I know who you are. And you call us Tin Horns? I called you Tin Horns. You needn't think you're tough because you travel with a Crestwood outfit. Doesn't take nerve to travel with a pack. A sneaking lobo can do that. Me? I admire a man with the nerve to travel alone. Maybe there's something in what you say. You two stay on your side of the room. I'll share this side with the Indian. He's better company. Now, hold on, Jack. There's no use in being sore at us. Was you serious about getting out of here? I'll be gone before morning. Well, now, look. We should work together, Jack. I do all right by myself. Yeah, but you're in jail. Now, if you had an organization, you wouldn't have to worry about getting out. Who's worried? I'll get out. What about you? You're here in spite of your gang. Oh, shucks. It's only for a few days for disturbing the peace. It ain't worth the risk to break us out. Now, if we got jailed on some serious charge, it'd be different. Our pals would come for us. Uh, Butch, tell him about the engine's furs. Uh, maybe that'd interest you, Jack. What would? This Indian here knows where there's a warehouse chuck full of fine furs waiting shipment. Says he could get a lot of them if he had some help. Are you figuring to help him? Oh, maybe. Where is this warehouse? When you get out of here, we'll go with you. You come to the boss with us. Then you learn where the warehouse is. Well, uh, I might have a talk with Crestwood and see what sort of deal he'll make with me. Good. Uh, how about getting us out of here? That won't take long. How are you going to do it? I'll cut the bars with a file. A file? Have you got a file? You needn't tell anyone that's standing guard outside. Yeah, they don't keep a guard around here. They trust to the locks and the doors. Hey, how'd you get a file under jail? Didn't they search you? They searched for weapons. They didn't look for a file strapped to my arm beneath my shirt. Hey, that's a slick idea. Boss Crestwood will be glad to learn about it. Yeah, I might show him a lot of new tricks. Yeah, we get the file and get started the sooner we're out of here, the sooner we can go to the Crestwood Ranch House. Yes, and the sooner Boss Crestwood can give Jack the test. Test? What test? Oh, it's something Crestwood worked out to make sure of a man before he lets him into the gang. Uh, I see. Uh, how does the test work? Well, it ain't nothing for a tough gent like you, Jack. Duh. You won't have no trouble. But on the other hand... A lawman couldn't pass it in a hundred years. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Jack was worried as he worked on the bars of the window with a small, sharp file. Soon he would be at the Crestwood Ranch House. He would face Boss Crestwood in the test that Butch and Smokey had mentioned. Butch's words haunted him. Like you, Jack? No, you won't have no trouble. On the other hand, a lawman couldn't pass it in a hundred years. What was that test? Would it betray Jack as a spy sent by Marshal Davis? There. Now we can break that bar. Good. Let me get a hold of it. I'll bust it. That does it, Butch. Now we can get out of this jail. Our horses are in the stable. I'll go out the window first and make sure the coast is clear. Send the engine out second. Jack, you come third and Smokey last. The four men got out of town without attracting attention and headed for the Crestwood Ranch, halfway between Dawson City and the town of Parksville. They'd covered several miles of the distance on the moonlit trail when Tonto raised his hand and called a halt. Oh, 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 fella. Oh, 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 fella. oh, fella. What's the matter, Indian? Oh, uh, me leave you here. Me go see if everything ready at warehouse. What do you mean? Well, all gang go there. Not fine furs, if not good. You told us it was furs there. Uh-huh. But maybe train take them away. Me go make sure furs there. Then me come back, tell you. That sounds like good sense. The boss would be mighty sore to go on a wild goose chase. You know where to find us, don't you, Redskin? Uh-huh. Me find you at Crestwood Ranch. Me come by and by. We'll be looking for you. Come on, Jack. We'll let you meet the boss and try the test. Here. Get it. Come up. Here. Oh. Here. Riding like the wind, Tonto dashed at right angles to the trail, heading toward the camp of the Lone Ranger in a nearby woods. The masked man heard Scout's thunder hooves. He was on his feet as Tonto brought the paint horse to a halt. Oh, oh, oh Scout, hold on, hold on. Tonto, I didn't expect uh, you for several days. You, you saddled silver. Plenty happened. All right, I'll saddle up while you're talking. I thought you'd be in jail with those two crooks until they were released. Stay there, there, Silver. Crooks out of jail now. They are. Did you tell them about the warehouse? Uh-huh, me tell them. Maybe them go there tonight. They know where it is. Uh, me tell them that, too. Me go to Crestwood Ranch and join them. I'll have to travel fast to get the sheriff on the job. If he can catch those crooks, he'll have you the evidence. Wait. You know how crook get out of jail? No, how? Young fella try to rob express office. Him caught by marshal. Him locked in jail. Very Silver. Well, what about it, Tonto? Well, him help crook break out of jail. Him go with crook and join gang. And the sheriff will capture him or the rest of the gang? Him, sheriff's son. What? Him, Jack Carter, son of Sheriff Carter. Hello, are you sure? Me sure. Me know him from long time ago. But Jack's supposed to be in the army. Him not in army. Him with Crestwood gang. If the sheriff traps a gang, he'll arrest his own son. Half right. There. Toto, you better get back to the gang and lead them to that warehouse. Ah, uh, and you go for sheriff? Yeah, steady, big fella. <laughs> Mon Silver! Get him up, scout! <laughs> After a dash across the plains, the Lone Ranger reached the town of Hawksville. He went directly to the sheriff's home and reined up near the door. Oh, Silver, oh, steady, big fella, easy. The clatter of hooves brought Sheriff Carter to the door. Hey, what's all the commotion? Steady, Silver. Sheriff Carter. Oh, that's me. What do you want? I want to talk to you. Oh, hey, your mask. Let's go inside the house. Now, you see here, no mask, man. There's no time to waste. Take your hands off inside. me. Inside. Boy. Now listen to me. I'll get you for this. Get the Crestwood gang, and you'll have something. What's that about the Crestwood gang? Boss Crestwood has just learned that the United Warehouse is full of fine furs awaiting shipment. You'll probably be there tonight. Why are you telling me? So you can be there with a the posse. You'll get the evidence you've needed. Where do you come in? There's one thing more to tell you. You'll find your son with the gang. My son, Jack? Yes. He was in jail with two of the crooks. They escaped a little while ago. Why, my son's in the army. Hasn't he been mustered out? Well, uh, yeah. My friend recognized your son from five years ago. He wouldn't make a mistake. I wish I knew where you fitted in. Never mind me. Just act on the information you have. Jack ain't a crook. I know. I hope not. But if I'm wrong about him, and if I find that he's a member of Crestwood's gang of killers... He's at the Crestwood Ranch right now. If you're telling the truth, I'll give Jack the same medicine as the rest. But if you're lying Just a moment. You'll get no proof against Crestwood if you go to his ranch. 
Take a posse to the United Warehouse right. and you'll get... I'll get what I want at the ranch. You know why? Just step over here a minute. Let me show you something. Look in there. Uh, what's in there? Nothing, mister. Nothing but an empty storeroom. With a good lock. Now I'll find out for myself whether you're lying or not. I'll get a good start before you get out of there. I've waited long enough. Now to get to the Crestwood Ranch. Steady, boy, steady. Get, get up there. Jack Carter faced Boss Crestwood at the ranch. I never traveled with a gang in my life, Crestwood. I'm not so sure I want to start now. You're acting kind of salty, young fella. Maybe these others, like Butch and Smoke here, are willing to take orders from you. But I still like to think for myself. Maybe this warehouse job the Indian suggested is penny ante stuff. Maybe I don't want any of it. I happen to know a good deal about that warehouse. The only thing I didn't know was that they had a bunch of furs stored there. But before you make up your mind about joining my outfit, you better let me decide if we want you. Meaning what? Maybe Butcher Smokey told you. Every man in my outfit takes a test. We told him. Test? <laughs> I'll take any test you want. Good. Smokey, you told me the marshal was in Dawson City. Yeah. You and Butch saddle up and bring him here. United States Marshal? Sure. I need him for the test. I've been waiting for an upstart like you to come along... I'll enjoy watching the test when you take it, Jack. What? <laughs> what do I have to do? You'll find out soon enough. All we need is a lawman. We'll give that Indian the test, too. That time, we'll use the sheriff. Oh, so you're going to use the sheriff, huh, Chris? The sheriff? Carter, how the devil did you get I in here? I your guard at the gate. Well, Jack, you ain't very choosy about the company you keep, are you? Wait, listen. Hey, you know this fellow, Sheriff? Know him? I reckon I do. He's my son. Your son? What the devil? Drop you... that gun, Sheriff. Good work, Smokey. So, the sheriff turns out to be your old man. And you want to join the Crestwood gang, eh? Come on, you boys. Tie up the tin star. We're going over to the warehouse right now. And I thought the last man was lying. And you, Jack Carter, can take the test when we get there. You, you still haven't told me what it is. Just this. Hold him. Every member of this gang has killed a badge toter, Savvy. What? We uh, was going to get the marshal for you. But this way, uh, I reckon the sheriff will be even better. No. Come on. Let's get over to that warehouse and find out how bad you want to join the Crestwood gang. As the sheriff rode away from his home, the Lone Ranger tried to smash the heavy door without success. Then he drew one of his guns. Well, there's one way to open that lock. Now to get to the Crestwood Ranch. Steady, big fella. Come on, Silver. Arriving at the Crestwood Ranch, the masked rider found the place apparently deserted. Oh, Silver, oh, steady. Easy, big fellow. There's only one answer. The gang has gone to the warehouse. Tato's counting on the sheriff's party. Reach! What's that? You're covered. Oh, fast, ain't you? Fast enough. Oh! Uh, you're Marshal Davis. Let, let go my arm. Marshal, I wanted to find you, but there wasn't time. Will you listen to me if I let you go? Yes, yes, confound it. I'll hear what you've got to say. If you want the Crestwood gang, you'll find them at the United Warehouse. They're after furs. How do you know? Who are you? Get I'm your not... horse and come with me. I'll tell you on the way. Steady. Come on, Silver. Jack Carter realized that the trap he'd prepared for the Crestwood gang had misfired. As he listened to Boss Crestwood, his mind raced feverishly, trying to think of something, some way out. At the edge of the room, Tonto eased his hands closer to the 45s he wore, ready for the showdown that might explode at any moment. It's like this, kid. Anybody that joins my gang kills a lawman to get in, savvy? 
With you, well, it just happens alarming you, Drew, is your old man. Crestwood, you're crazy if you <laughs> don't You mean you're to... crazy if you don't shoot him. See, your old man walked into this thing and his number is up. Now, it don't matter whether you kill him or not, kid. He's going to get it anyway. Too bad the law has to play square with coyotes <laughs> like you, Crestwood. <laughs> but you see, kid, if you do knock off your old man, well, then, of course, they got to figure that you really want to join up, see? And that makes you a member. I... You got to give me time to think. You've had time enough. Now go through with it, and they'll find your father here at the scene of the robbery. If you don't go through with it, they're going to find him anyway, and you'll be with him. I'm going to count three, Jack, while you make up your mind. Boys, you keep this fella covered, and that engine, too. I ain't sure about neither one of them. Wait a minute. I've waited too long as it is. We got things to do. One. Jack. Two. Dad, I guess this is adios for both of us. Hey, what? First man that makes a move will catch lead. Lawman's lead. Otto, you and Jack and the sheriff get their guns. Quickly. Ah. And you, Crestwood. I ain't asking you not to make a move. I'm daring you to move. All right. Don't worry, Marshal. I don't go up against a cold drop. You fellas do like the Tin Star says. They ain't got nothing on us. No? You're caught red-handed here in the warehouse with two reliable witnesses to tell what your intentions were. Who's the two witnesses, Marshal? The engine's one. The other one is your boy, Sheriff. Jack's been working with me on this all along. I, I ain't never heard better news in my life. But you can take my word for it. If the Lone Ranger hadn't been in the fight... No one would ever have heard the testimony of any witnesses. Uh, Lone Ranger, mask man. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and thanks for listening. <laughs>